Surrealism. Dreams or nightmares? How do we keep this deceptive art style out of our children's schools and keep it from infecting our communities? We find out tonight. Well, I looked at two things. I looked at the idea between, behind each piece of art, so what the artist was trying to say, and then I looked at the visuals of each piece of art and how much of an impact it had, how well the artist handled the materials, how comfortable the artist looked with those materials. Some of the pieces have a stronger theme and maybe visually aren't as strong and others are visually very strong but thematically maybe not as strong and some have both. So those are the criteria I use when I pick these pieces for this show. Uh, the point of the unicorn was just we had it laying around, and I didn't have anything to wear on my head, and she did, so just that, yeah, exactly, and everyone's dressing randomly, and I was like, why not? So, who are you wearing tonight? What is the inspiration for your costume? Uh, I had a weird fluffy coat, and I tried to get the $5 discount, so I was really going for that. Well, I can nap pretty much all day long, non-stop, um, and I like seafood. I really like surrealism because it gets like artists out of the box of what what you see in everyday life. Like every artist is um, influenced by what they see everyday life and then they just make it whatever they want it to be. It could be a different world, a different reality of what they think and that's what I think the best thing is because you can make it whatever you want it to be. Uh, at LSU I teach biochemistry and I teach biophysics. Are you concerned with you being an LSU professor that you know, by you hanging out with all these freaks and weirdos that your job is in jeopardy? Not really. That's what LSU professors are, freaks and weirdos. Well, we've made it through the entire gallery. I still have no idea what surrealism is. And I think I need to go to church in the morning. For the Funyun, I'm Alex Cormier.